When you go to the dentist and they say you have a cavity, there's usually no going back. You pretty much have to get a filling. Ugh, I hate getting fillings. But is there a way to reverse a cavity naturally and prevent getting a filling? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, my name is Amanpreet Singh and I'm the founder of Dental Secrets. Before we get started with the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel below. Let's get into it. A cavity is when a hole forms in your tooth. And the reason this typically happens is because you have bacteria that live in your mouth. These bacteria like to eat on the sugars and other carbohydrates that you put in your mouth and in return they release these byproducts that are very acidic. These acids will damage your teeth and eventually cause a hole to form or in other words a cavity. If this cavity is never fixed it will keep growing bigger and bigger. This is why you need a filling to remove some of that tooth structure, remove all the decay that's there and put a filling to protect the tooth. But is there a way to reverse this cavity without ever getting a filling and without ever drilling on your tooth? Well the answer is yes and no. Your teeth are constantly demineralizing and remineralizing. It's kind of like your bone you know you have your osteoclasts and your osteoblasts constantly at work and taking away new bone and putting new bone. Just like your bones your teeth are remineralizing as well constantly replacing old enamel with new enamel. It's actually pretty cool. But when you have acidic environments like from the bacteria that live in your mouth or from acidic foods, your teeth are demineralizing more than they're remineralizing. This throws off the balance that your teeth are constantly in and you're actually taking away more tooth structure than you're putting back. When this demineralizing occurs past a certain point, your cavity is now irreversible and you absolutely have to get a filling. That point is the DEJ or the dentin enamel junction. The crown of your tooth is basically made up of three layers. You have the enamel on the outside, underneath that you have the dentin and inside of the dentin you have the pulp and the pulp is basically the blood supply and the nerve supply to your tooth. If the cavity that is forming is still in your enamel and it has not reached the DEJ, you can still reverse it. What you would need is you would need to have more remineralizing than demineralizing. In other words, you would have to have more tooth structure being put in than taken away. So this is when your dentist would probably recommend having more fluoride that you're exposed to and obviously having proper home care. But once it reaches the dentin, this cavity that's forming is irreversible. You now have a hole in your tooth and not only that, the bacteria have reached the dentin. Your dentin is weaker than your enamel. So the bacteria in your enamel will spread pretty slowly, but once it's in your dentin, then it'll start spreading a lot faster. Typically the way this looks is the bacteria make a straight line for your dentin. Once they reach the dentin, now they have all this room where they can spread out and grow rapidly. And if you wait too long to get this fixed, those bacteria will keep growing and eventually spread to that pulp or the nerve supply of your tooth. Now your tooth is going to need a root canal because your entire tooth is infected. But if you're one of the lucky ones and you catch this cavity that's forming while it's still in your enamel, now you can reverse it and you won't ever need a filling. Woohoo! But how can you make sure that you catch this cavity before it reaches your dentin? Well, one way is going to your dentist regularly and not skipping any of your hygiene appointments. When they take x-rays, your dentist can see if there's a cavity that's forming in between your teeth and see how big it is. And looking at the x-ray, the dentist will be able to tell if the cavity is still in your enamel or if it has reached your dentin and needs a filling. And the dentist also does a clinical exam by looking in your mouth. Here they can see if any spots look like they're demineralized or weaker than the rest of your tooth structure and could use some fluoride treatment. But let's say the cavity does reach the dentin. Do you absolutely have to get a filling? Well, if you want to remove the decay and build the tooth up and make it look pretty, then yes, you would need a filling. But there is a way to stop a cavity in its tracks, even after it's reached the dentin. And this is done with SDF, or silver diamine fluoride. SDF is a medication that you would put on your tooth. And if there's a cavity, it would stop the cavity in its tracks and stop the bacteria from spreading anymore. What the heck, why don't we all use this? I knew dentists were scamming me. But before you get too excited, there is one drawback. It's gonna stain your tooth black. And even if you get a filling on top of it, your tooth is still gonna be discolored. Huh, never mind. I don't think I want that anymore. SDF is typically done on kids who have trouble sitting still during a filling appointment and it's also done for people who don't have insurance and can't really afford getting a dental filling. But just know that if you're trying to reverse a cavity or stop a cavity in its tracks with SDF, these are not 100% solutions. The reason is these solutions require good home care as well. This means that you have to keep your teeth clean by brushing and flossing regularly and especially if you're trying to reverse a cavity, then your teeth have to be exposed to fluoride. Fluoride helps remineralize and strengthen your teeth. So it's very useful in these situations where you have a cavity forming in your enamel 
but it hasn't reached the dentin yet. And don't forget your diet. Limiting sugars and limiting carbohydrates like potato chips and limiting acidic foods in your mouth will all help prevent cavities from forming. If you ignore all this stuff and have a terrible diet and you don't take good care of your teeth at home, there's only so much the dentist can do in their own office and there's a good chance that cavity will keep growing. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked that video. If there's anything else you wanted me to talk about or had any other questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel below. I'll see you in the next video.